What if the air you breathe turned deadly overnight? In December 1952, Londoners experienced the unimaginable when a thick, yellowish fog descended upon the city. But this wasn't ordinary fog. It was a toxic blend of smoke and pollutants from coal fires, factories, and vehicles trapped by unusual weather. For five days, visibility dropped to mere feet. Buses crawled, ambulances stopped running, and even indoor events were canceled as the smog seeped through cracks and crevices. People coughed, eyes burned, and a strange taste lingered in the air. Hospitals filled rapidly. By the time clear skies returned, at least 4,000 people had died, many from respiratory failure, and thousands more would perish in the weeks that followed. The disaster shocked the world and forced a reckoning with air pollution. In response, the UK government passed the Clean Air Act of 1956, banning smoky fuels in urban areas and sparking global movements for environmental regulation. The Great Smog wasn't just a tragedy, it was a turning point that forever changed how cities confront the hidden dangers in the air we breathe.